So this week, we'll talk about the skeletal system. The skeletal system is the bones and the cartilage. And so we'll talk about each of those a bit, focusing on bone. So this week, I will talk about the functions of the skeletal system. I'm just going to write this since I didn't yet. Um, the structures, broadly. And then we will go into bone in more detail. So classifications and general parts of bones, bone formation and development. Um, so it's called ossification, how bones form and then grow. Um, fractures and bone repair. And then a little bit about hormones um, and also then relating that to calcium homeostasis. So that will be this week. In this first video, I want to continue on and talk about the skeletal system a little broadly. So here are the structures of the skeletal system. They are the bones and the cartilage. Um, and this then also includes ligaments. We'll talk about ligaments more when we talk about joints next week. There's a lot of other connective tissue that links together the skeleton. And then we'll also talk about tendons when we get to the muscular system. Tend tendons link muscle to bone. Um, so they're part of the musculoskeletal system, which are two very closely related systems that allow you to move. So first the structures, um, you know what the bones of your skeleton are. There is the axial skeleton, um, which is the kind of dark tan here, makes up the axis of your body, the primary axis. So skull, vertebrae, um, ribs, and the sacrum. And then the appendicular are the appendages. So this is the appendages of the arms and legs, um, but as well as these pelvic bones and scapula and clavicle. Um, so generally, that those make sense, those terms. Um, and we'll see them more also in lab. Then in between these different bones, there are cartilages. And that's typically where joints are. So these joints are located between any bone you have here. You've seen these some already. So hyaline cartilage is the most common, the most prevalent. Hyaline cartilage, I will talk about the most. Elastic cartilage is pretty limited. Um, one place you'll see it is in the ear itself, is actually elastic cartilage. And then fibrocartilage is that dense stuff, a little stiffer, that's located in the pubis symphysis here and in the intervertebral discs. So that's what the skeletal system is. What it, does it do? So you probably know some, when you first think of the skeletal system, right? We've got support for the body. And right, along with the muscles then holds the body up. So that's going to be also related to leverage. So um, anchorage points for the muscles to attach. And that then allows for movement. This is a little messy today. Another maybe more obvious one is protection. So the best examples of this is your skull, vertebral column, and rib cage all protect very important things, your brain, your spinal cord, your heart, your lungs. Your most vital organs are, are here. Okay, so those are the kind of the more you know, obvious ones, um, but some other functions are going to be um, Production of blood cells. It's going to happen in the red bone marrow, blood cell production. Um, storage and release of minerals and fats. In the bone tissue itself. So calcium is, is a key one. It's also yellow, yellow fat in the yellow bone marrow. 
Um, I think that's it. Okay, so we will focus on bones this week, kind of talked about already. Um, bone, tendons and ligaments will be part of joints and also a little bit of the, the muscular system. And then the skeletal anatomy, so the names of all the bones, that will be um, in lab. 